Hi, I'm Dan with Family White TV, and this edition of Home Theater for the Masses is about theater sound. There will be at least four parts to this subset of the Home Theater for the Masses series. This part will focus on surround sound, what each channel does, and why it's important. The next part will be more of a what to look for when buying speaker's guide. And the third part will focus specifically on subwoofers. Finally, the fourth part will be about amplifiers. There may be more parts if I think about other topics that uh, might warrant a video, but uh, that's the four parts that are planned right now. So for this part, I'm talking about home theater surround sound. But first, I need to give you a highly abbreviated history of theater audio. Theater audio was originally non-existent in the silent movie era. The soundtrack would be provided by a live musician or sometimes even an orchestra. When the talking pictures came around, we had mono sound, which is one channel audio. Later still, in 1940, Disney introduced surround sound in the movie Fantasia. Although their system used more than two surround speakers, today we would call this 5.0. Next, in 1974, the movie Earthquake utilized the Sirwin Vega Sense surround system. This showcased and popularized subwoofers in the commercial cinema, and thus the .1 channel came into widespread use. Today, the latest and greatest in theater sound is the Dolby Atmos system and the DTS-X system, which adds ceiling speakers and uses object-based surround sound processing. And that brings us to the modern home theater, which usually has 5.1 sound. What 5.1 refers to is the number of audio channels. In 5.1, you have a center channel, a left and right front speaker, a left and right surround speaker, and a subwoofer providing low frequency effects. It is a subwoofer that gives us the 0.1 and 5.1. Some movies include 7.1 soundtracks, which add two back surround speakers. And finally, Dolby Atmos and DTS-X adds two to six ceiling speakers. In order to demonstrate what each channel does, let's take a look at this scene from Star Wars The Force Awakens. It may come as a surprise that the center channel is really the most important speaker in a sound system. Almost all the dialogue comes from the center channel. Let's listen to this scene with only the center channel playing. Ah, what about that ship? That one's garbage! The garbage will do! The next most important speakers are the front, left, and right speakers. These are going to have your stereo effects, and they're also going to carry much of the musical soundtrack of a movie. These channels rarely contain dialogue. They'll only contain dialogue as the character is far to the left or right of a scene, or even off camera. They may also contain reverberation effects for vocals for characters speaking inside a room. Now let's listen to the surround speakers. These speakers are used mainly to provide audio that would be happening behind the camera. They also provide ambiance effects and also add to the musical soundtrack and also better envelops you into the movie soundtrack. Finally, there is the Low Frequency Effects Channel, or LFE. This is a mono channel that contains elements that are generally less than 80 Hz in frequency. These sounds provide the visceral feeling of a movie, the low rumble of explosions, the crash of a wave against a ship, and the thumping of helicopter blades, and more. Depending on how you're watching this and how your speakers are set up, you may not hear anything at all in this clip. If you're watching this on a smartphone, you're definitely not going to hear anything unless you're listening with earbuds or headphones. Now I don't have a way to extract audio from the ceiling speakers used in an Atmos or DTSX soundtrack, but they behave much in the same way as surround speakers. So there's what each channel does. Put them all together and you have a complete movie soundtrack. Ah, what about that ship? That one's garbage! The garbage will do! Now you can have a theater that does not include all these speakers. 
In that case, your audio video receiver will do its best to downmix the soundtrack so that you miss as little as possible, but there will be compromises. For example, let's say you have a stereo setup. You may have noticed that when you watch movies on TV, particularly televisions with poor audio integration, there is a volume issue. Specifically, you have to turn the TV up to understand what people are saying. But then when an action sequence comes on, the TV gets too loud and you have to turn it down. When the action is passed, you again have to turn the volume up to understand what the characters are saying. This is happening because there's no center channel. When a center channel is missing, the audio from the center channel has to get rerouted to the left and right speakers. Since the center channel already has sound from the action in it, those action sounds get added to the sound already in the left and right speakers, which makes the action even louder. But since dialogue does not exist in the left and right channels, the dialogue from the center doesn't get reinforced and will be significantly lower in volume than the action. Having a center channel alleviates this. What you can also do with the center channel is turn up the volume of only the center channel if you desire. And so now let's say you have a three channel setup. This is the bare minimum I would recommend for home theater sound. You may want to run a system like this if rather than wasting money on cheap surround speakers, you'd rather save up and get nice surround speakers in the future. The compromise here is that you will be missing out on the ambience of a soundtrack that is mixed into the surround channels. Once you have your side surrounds, you can also consider getting back surrounds. But I would say that these are less important. Many people are perfectly happy with a five speaker surround sound setup, and indeed, many movies don't even include a seven channel mix. And so the next channel to consider is a low frequency effects channel, or the 0.1 channel. Now it is certainly possible to run without a subwoofer. In some cases, this may even be desirable, particularly if you're living in apartments with irritable neighbors. But if you're in a freestanding house and want the full experience, you need a subwoofer. And as a quick tip, it's better to buy two cheaper subwoofers rather than one expensive one due to the way low frequencies interact with the room. Also, while we're on the topic of subwoofers, I'll mention quickly that some amplifiers advertise them as 7.2. This does not mean you have stereo subwoofer outputs. These jacks output the exact same signal from both outputs. They're just there so that you can hook up multiple powered subwoofers. However, you can do the same thing by using a Y cable. You won't be losing any volume because the amplification is done in the subwoofer itself. Now one last thing I'll mention is to be aware of a common scam called the white van speaker scam. This is a scam where a group of people in a van or SUV, sometimes with phony markings, will try to sell you speakers out of the back of their van. They'll claim the speakers are really high quality speakers that they somehow acquired legitimately, of course, and they'll sell them at a deep discount. Don't fall for this. The speakers are garbage and they're not worth the money. In many cases, they don't even work. Only buy speakers from real stores or from trusted online sources. I was actually approached by scammers with this scam once. I declined without even stopping and went on my way. Now one excellent resource I want you to know about for audio specifically is the website audioholics.com. They're a no BS website that will give you the straight truth on all sorts of audio topics and will be invaluable in your quest for home theater bliss. In the next video, I'll be talking about the specifications of speakers and how you can use them to best determine which speakers are best for your system. If you have questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below and I'd be happy to ask them to you. Over there are some videos that you may be interested in, so if you like this, please be sure to check them out and thanks for watching.